Picking a color to paint, draw, or fill an area is simple with the material palette. However, you might want to have more control, especially if you want to pick coordinating colors or if you want to create your own color palette that will be eye-pleasing. If you want to open more options, you simply have to click on your swatch for the foreground or the background and this will bring up the Material Properties dialog window. Once you have adjusted the lightness bar, you will see in the wheel all the colors that you can pick. From there, you can choose any color you want and the closer you go to the edge, the more saturated the color will be. So you can play around, change the color and pick more saturated, less saturated, and you can also fine-tune with the lightness bar. This is how you can use the color wheel to pick your color. You can also use the slider. And in here you have different sliders you can use to actually pick your color. So changing the sliders will change the color that will be selected. Or you can use the swatches and pick the color from there. This is the standard palette, but you have an array of new palettes available in 2018, including any custom palette that you might have created. If you like the color that you have here and you want to add it to your custom palette, you simply click on the plus sign here and it will be added to the palette you choose. In my example, I only have one, so I'll add it and call it pink 2. And here it is. It's been added to my existing palette. Choosing one color is one thing, but if you want to choose some coordinating colors, you have an area here of options. You can have the program show you the complementary colors, in which case I'll see here my pink and the complementary color, which is green. If I change the main color, it will also change the complementary color. I can choose to have triad, in which case I get two more, or I can get more colors And I always get those colors available here. You have different options that you can pick. And if you have several colors that you like, you can create your own palette. So let's say I want to create this palette. I can add them to the palette. And instead of using the one I already have, I will choose a new. I'll call it palette two. And the first swatch is going to be yellow. Then I can add this color, add it to the palette, palette 2, I'll call it orange. Again the third, palette 2, swatch, yellow 2. And then that purple, I add purple 1. And now, if I go to swatches, here's my palette number two. I have all the colors that I selected. In the material properties dialog window, I can also choose a gradient. So depending on how many gradients you have already installed, you can pick one here. If you choose a gradient, here it will appear as a sample. You have different options to have your gradient, linear, rectangular, sunburst, or radial. You pick the one you prefer. You can have changes in the angle, number of repeats, and change the center point if you are using a sunburst, for example. And you can also tweak and edit your gradient at the bottom. You can also choose a pattern. 
Again, you have several patterns available and you can add your own. Again, you can change the angle and the scale to your liking. And you can also add those to your palette if you want. Once you have chosen your material, you can also add a texture to it. The texture will determine how much of the material will be fainted. So if I want to add a texture, you can see how my purple swatch is not completely opaque anymore. And the more black there is in the texture, the more areas will be missing. And just like the gradients and the patterns, you can change the angle and the scale to get a different result. And again, you can add this to your own palette. So this is an overview of the Material Properties dialog window that will allow you to pick more precisely your colors and color palettes.